Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about formal verification. Formal verification is a process of checking whether a design satisfies some requirements, also called properties. The design can be a hardware, which is, can be a semiconductor chip, or it can be a software. While, while there are various tools which, uh, which will help you do the formal verification uh, of the design, uh, most of them are licensed or uh, are difficult to access, get access to if you are a student or if you are somebody who is just getting started with formal and not working in a company. So I thought of giving a giving an introduction to a tool called EOSIS which is uh, an open source tool which will help you get started with this journey of formal verification. Uh, this tool can be downloaded from github. I will provide the link in the description. There are a set of a set of instructions which are given uh, here for installing the tool. First of all, you can go to the latest release and download download the file. I have downloaded the x uh, x64.tgz file. Uh, once you have that, uh, you can source that uh, source the path to. You can extra first you need to extract the file and then source the path to the environment. Let, let's do that. I mean the EOSIS folder where I have already downloaded this particular file as you can see here and uh, if you don't know how to unpack and unpack a .tgz file this is a command tar is it v is it xvf it's x and the path to the file once you have done that can run this command <coughs> and run. This will take you to the OSS CAD suit console where you can access the SBY package slash tool which you can use for formal verification. Now that's that's all about the installation. I have two I have a design file counter counter.sv and a dot sby file which is used by this tool yosis for checking the properties let's look at let's first look at the counter this is a simple up counter of uh, 8 bits uh, except the uh, except the fact that i have an additional logic here which is ensuring that once the counter reaches a value of 4 it would then stay in the stay in the value of four forever, and it will not count up further. And I have a property which is written here that says uh, the counter cannot have the value of three. Of course, the counter can have the value of three, but uh, I just wrote a property which will which will fail, so that I can show you how you can get the counter example or counter example is a term for failure failure trace which will tell you the scenario which uh, at which the design failed to satisfy the property which you have written here and let's see the sby file here you can specify what mod you want to run at what which mode you want to run the tool. So I have selected BMC, which is the short form for bounded model checking. And there is an engine which is called SMT BMC, which will do that uh, BMC operation. And then you need to do, uh, you need to give the path to the file, design file, and the top module name of the design file, so which is counter. So module counter, right? So counter is the top module name then you just need to list all the files which you are using here we just have only one file so that's <coughs> that's all we have right now now let's verify this property go back to the terminal and use this command sby and then path to the file path to the sby file and that's it As you can see, uh, the tool 
uh, is returning a counter example trace first it says that the property which I have written has failed and the failed property is in counter.sv file in line I think line 40 yeah it's in it's in the line it's in this block and uh, the counter example trace is stored in this folder called counter engine 0 trace.bcd so the property checking slash model checking is done now in any design once you find a find once you find a bug the approach is to go to the trace and find out wo at what point the design started operating abnormally and then fix the design and then rerun the property so there could be two cases one your proper design could be wrong or you wrote the property which is not really a functionality of the design or your pro in short your property was wrong let's see what went wrong in this case for that first let's see the see the trace so to see the trace there is a tool, tool called gtk wave which is also, also part of this oss cad suit gtk wave is the tool's name and next is the path to the vcd file which is a counter example trace file there are different formats in which you can get the counter example based on the tool uh, vcd fsdb and and so on once gtk wave opens you need to click on the design and select all control a and insert let's keep the waveform here and then go back and look at our property our property said uh, that out uh, should not have a value of 3 and it clearly says that out can have a value of 3 and hence the failure so in in advanced tools like jasper gold vc formal etc you could you could just double click on the trace and it would take you to the hardware logic and you can figure out what went wrong but this is uh, a basic tool you might not be able to do that without license uh, for this tool so if you do some analysis you can see that out equal to 3 is indeed a functional value of the design as per the design and uh, the failure was in our property so what I really wanted to check was whether whether the design can have a value of can have a value of 5 so I'm just saying that the design the counter cannot have a value of 5 I have modified that design uh, modified the property now let's rerun it again now it says that um, I've done enough checks and uh, uh, the tool has found that uh, the property is passing so there are no counter example traces uh, that's all about uh, verifying the design uh, using Yosis this is a very basic example of course you can have uh, all sorts of complicated SVA property system log assertions here with uh, even though Yosis won't support all all the uh, keywords and uh, different options available in SVA while you can uh, again you can still make use of that for basic examples Thank you for watching. Um, if you found this useful, let me know uh, what you think or uh, if you want me to post more videos on formal verification, what uh, topics you would like to know and all that. If you could post in the comment, comment section, that would be great. Also, subscribe to the channel and like if you like the video. Thank you.